Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and this is day 81 of my 90 day tougher challenge. I just got home from an amazing massage. Dana um, is the massage therapist at Transform You and so I made an appointment for an hour and a half massage tonight and it was amazing. It was a treat, but I was having some um, like kind of aches and pains kind of thing. So it was really for me less for the treat and more for can you help me out so I can do better in my workouts. But of course it was amazing and I feel so much better now. She is truly one of the best massage therapists I've ever had before. I mean, just amazing. So you definitely need to check her out. There's a link on the Transform You website. Um, if you go to, I think it says the Tough Spa, and then um, and it shows her picture, and then you can click on it. And yeah, she's great. Anyway, uh, today's been an amazing day. It started out with a great victory on the scale today. I just inched so much closer to my goal. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I'm not holding my breath because I know how the scale is with me, but I'm really, really proud of my success so far. So I'm down um, 29.5 pounds today, so I have a half a pound left to lose, and um, I am determined to make it go away. So we shall see. Um, it was so great to have Shayla back in the gym today. She did boot camp for us, and it was just I, I love her so much, and I missed her. It was a really good workout today, and um, I had another friend of mine come and start working out with us today, and so it's just so much fun when you're working out with friends or you get to know the people that you're working out with well enough to establish relationships, and you encourage each other and laugh and have fun while you're dying. <laughs> but um, anyway, it was so great to see her, and I just hope that more of my friends who've talked about coming will come because it's an amazing place to work out. It's truly like no other gym I've ever, ever been to. So yeah, we did, um, Shayla had a different little workout for me. Um, I did a mile, oh, I have some really cool things to tell you. I forgot, I'm like out of it right now. Um, I did a mile warm up and then, um, and I think I did it at 3.2 the whole time. I was really proud of myself, which is, it's a little bit, faster pace, I usually would keep it between 2.8 and 3, so um, keeping it at 3.2 for the whole mile is something new for me, and that was pretty good. Um, and then I did just a really short set of exercises and then got back on the treadmill for two minutes, and um, she had me go at a 3.6 pace, and so that ended up being a jogging pace for me, so I was actually doing um, little jogging intervals in between my exercises. I cannot believe it. And I was like, Shayla, it feels so weird. I'm just bouncing all over the place. <laughs> and she laughed at me, but I'm like, just come and let me know if my feet are doing the right thing. And I'm, I've never run in my life. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. So she came over and watched me. We had a good time with it. And she's like, you're doing fine. So um, we talked about breathing and, and um, how to time your breathing with your pace and everything so that was really helpful so um, after that I went to um, ge um, gentle yoga with Heidi and um, I always love working out with Heidi I was so frustrated though today because my left knee is my bad knee and my right knee is now starting to give me fits um, but after my massage tonight I learned some things that are going on with my hips and um, well, I can't remember the name of there's like a tendon um, and and then um, some muscles down there there's all kind of freaking out and it could be what's affecting my knee so um, I mean it definitely is on the verge of being a bad knee too because I know that from my doctor but so anyway it was just very frustrating because I couldn't even like get on my hands and knees today during yoga and put pressure on that right knee. Um, it was just fighting me. So um, Heidi was so sweet to give me modifications, but sometimes even the modifications I couldn't even do. So, but I did what I could. And that's, that's the thing I like about yoga is you do what feels good and you don't worry about it if you can't do exactly what everyone else is doing. So um, I'm just praying for restoration in my knees 
so that I can become the yogi that I want to become. So anyway, um, food-wise, it's been a pretty good day. I have been starving today. Don't know why. Um, had a, you know a really good food day, good calories and protein and carbs and all that. So just the way my body works. Some days I'm not hungry at all, and other days I am famished. So. Thank you all so much for your feedback last night for my questions. Um, those of you who left comments or a private message to me or text to me, looks like the general consensus is to continue making the videos once a week. So I'm going to do that. And um, if ever a time comes when you guys stop watching them, I'll quit making them. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for your sweet comments and encouragement. It's humbling to me to think that anybody even watches them for inspiration. So. You guys inspire me, to be honest. It's the truth. And then also, just another reminder, if there's anybody out there who um, is interested in becoming the new 90-day Tougher Challenge person at my gym, just shoot me um, a text or an email or a message and let me know. They are definitely looking for someone who, the key is, is you can't already be working out there. So, um, but I've heard from a couple of you, and so if anybody else is interested, let me know. I love you guys. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.